Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So there has been this trend in the literary world that I've noticed recently and that is that there are a lot of Mexican authors who are starting to get a lot of attention from sort of like the literary bigwigs almost. Now obviously there have been great Mexican authors for a very long time but it seems like more and more recently I've been hearing about more of them and a lot more of their books that are starting to get translated into English which means that people like me can now read them. I thought I would talk to you guys about some of the books that I have read by Mexican authors. This is by no means an exhaustive list and this isn't even like the top list but these are just ones that I've read that I would recommend. <laughs> So the first recommendation that I have for you guys is Juan Pablo Villalobos who was probably one of the first Mexican authors that I had ever read, at least on my own without like prompting from school. The book that I read by him was Down the Rabbit Hole which was this really fantastic short little story about this like young boy who happens to be the son of like a drug lord in Mexico and the son is relatively young and so he's pretty naive about what's happening just because he obviously is too young to really understand what's happening around him and so you are following everything through his point of view and so you as the audience or as the reader recognizes a lot more of the dangers and the more evil things that are happening in the world around him than he does so it's this really really interesting story that allows you to sort of infer a lot more about what is actually happening in the story compared to what the narrator is telling you. He is becoming one of my favorite authors. I think that he has just such an interesting point of view on Mexican life and culture um, that's slightly satirical but also still has that darkness to it. The second author that I have for you guys is Alvaro Enrique who I hadn't heard of until this year or maybe towards the end of last year when his book Sudden Death was coming out in English. This is one of like the most bonkers books that I've ever read. You are following this like tennis match between this Italian painter and this Mexican poet I believe and there are appearances from some very important historical people like Galileo, Mary Magdalene, there's references to like Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. It's like super all over the place. You jump back and forth through time, you jump through like locations on the world. If you are someone who is super knowledgeable about world history I highly recommend this book because I think you would find it to be a really fun perspective and point of view. The next recommendation that I have for you guys is Valeria Lucielli and she wrote obviously the story of my teeth. Um, she is actually of Mexican and Italian descent but she was born in Mexico. She has written a lot of different like essay collections and sort of like shorter pieces and she's part of sort of like the modern art world that's happening down in Mexico and this story was actually commissioned. She worked with these factory workers down in Mexico City to sort of put this story together which is like a really interesting twist on what's happening here but the book in and of itself is really really fascinating. It's a very unique format and it's one of those books that I think is best read in sort of one go. It's relatively short so it's not that hard to read it in like one sitting. You are following this man who is basically obsessed with teeth, um, specifically the teeth of like famous people and so he works as sort of an auctioneer and attends different auctions to acquire these teeth and these teeth sort of become one of his prized possessions but it's about more than that obviously and the format of this story goes so that you are getting sort of little snippets and then the story sort of like widens in scope and widens in scope and widens in scope which is really interesting. So what you see in the beginning is sort of like this much of the story and then by the end of the book you see like that much of the story and you understand significantly more about what actually is happening in this world. I've never really read anything else quite like this before which is to its credit and it was like oddly engaging and interesting like I felt like it made me want to keep reading because for part of the time I was like I don't think I understand completely what's going on and then by the end of the story you see exactly what's going on and it's kind of this really great reveal. So yeah this is definitely an author who's been getting a lot of attention recently and for good reason. And the final recommendation that I have for you guys is Yuri Herrera who wrote Signs Preceding the End of the World. I believe that this is his debut novel and this is probably one of the best books that I've read so far this year. In this story you are following this young woman named Makina who lives in Mexico whose brother has basically smuggled into the United States because he believes that there is land there that belongs to the family and he hasn't returned so she has to smuggle into the United States to find him to figure out what's going on and to possibly get him to come back home and so you are just following her as she is taking on this dangerous journey and she has to deal with a whole bunch of different shady people because obviously smuggling into the United States you don't get to deal with the best people. This is an author who is definitely one to watch. If you are someone who likes Cormac McCarthy you must pick up his book. This is a relatively short book. I read this whole thing in one sitting and the writing is 
kind of more on the bare bones side of things, which I actually really enjoyed. Yuri Herrera sort of lets your own imagination fill in the gaps of what's happening in the story, and I think that the lack of detail sort of fills more suspense and more anticipation for what's going on. There's a lot of sort of like quiet moments and the lack of description sort of lets you know that something is coming and so you're sort of just like anticipating what that something is and he just does such a fantastic job of telling this very specific story like he's showing such a specific example of what it's like to come to the United States, but he uses that as a bigger conversation about immigration, illegal immigration, assimilation into the United States, all these different sort of hot topics. It's really, really fantastic. And then I've already picked up his next book, The Transmigration of Bodies, which I believe follows these different like crime families who are feuding with each other and it's sort of coming to a peak. Apparently I haven't read it yet, so I don't know how accurate that is, but I'm super excited to read this one as well. So those are all of my recommendations for you guys. Those are the ones that I've read so far. I will probably be doing a part two of this in like some point in the future because I keep picking up more and more Mexican authors. It's just so much fantastic stuff coming out. So if you've read any of these authors or you have some recommendations of your own, feel free to leave those down in the comment section. I will definitely be looking through the comment section to see if I can get some more recommendations. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!